next question you may ask is, can I air layer any and everything? You get so greedy, you want to, you know, try and do it to virtually every tree and plant you see. The answer is no, you can't layer any and everything. There are only certain species of plants that air layer easily. If you observe in nature, things like your blackberries, uh, they propagate themselves by touching the ground. They touch the ground and they make a new plant. That's called tip layering. Rhododendrons and azaleas, when they grow wild, when the branches get too heavy and they fall in the ground and all the peat and the leaf debris fall over the branches, that is really air layering. So they produce roots that way. So air layering does happen in nature. But as I said, not every plant will air layer. I'm standing next to this lovely Japanese five needle pine. By the way, it's got all these beautiful flowers. I hate removing them because they're very pretty. Anyway, can I air layer white pine? The answer is technically no, but there is one variety of five needle pine called the um, uh, Zuisho pine. It's got very short needles. That's the only white pine that air layers. But as far as I'm aware, and someone may correct me if I'm wrong, I do not think any pine will air layer except the Zuisho white pine. The Scots pine will not air layer. The Mugo pine will not air layer. Most of the five needle pines will not air layer. Uh, and so it goes. So the pines are a dead loss. So don't waste your time doing the pines. How about the junipers? This is a needle juniper. All junipers will air layer. All the junipers will air layer very, very easily. All the junipers also grow from cuttings. Pine, by the way, do not grow from cuttings. Junipers will grow from cuttings and they air layer. The ordinary Chinese juniper will grow from cuttings and air layering. Wisterias again will grow from cuttings and air layerings. You notice I say cuttings and air layerings. Any plant that can propagate by cuttings will also air layer. That is my rule of thumb. Always remember that. Any plant that you can propagate from a cutting will also air layer. So air layering is a much faster method and you can use really thick old wood. Whereas cuttings, you've got to use really thin uh, shoots to propagate the cuttings. I have in my Bonsai Masterclass, the second book, I think a list of all the plants that uh, air layer. So I discovered it mainly by trial and error. And although that list is in Bonsai Masterclass, it is by no means exhaustive. Uh, so deciduous trees, the maple comes to mind. Of the trees that we use for bonsai, the maple, uh, Triton maple, Japanese maple, most of the other maples will air layer. Field maple, English field maple will air layer. And then other deciduous trees like the beech air layers easily. Silver birch air layers. Uh, quince will air layer. Crab apple air layers. So most of the deciduous varieties do air layer quite easily, but some are easier than others. I have behind me a crepe myrtle. That's a semi-tropical tree. Now I've deliberately let that become overgrown because it's quite a rare tree. I'm going to air layer the thin branches and make maybe about 10 or 20 plants out of that big tree rather than ch just chop it off. I will make air layerings from that. So, so much for the varieties that you can air layer. So by trial and error, you get to know which trees will air layer and which will not.